to Stuff Lab. I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And Marty, it's facts. It's facts day. Would you like to guess what we're doing? Uh, I got nothing. Uh, nothing? I'm really tired today. Um, I can't think of any platypus. No. Manatee. No. Soft shell sea tortoise. No. Tortoises live on land. Turtle. No. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Oh, oh God! Now it opens up so many things that we're not just doing animals. I mean, you American can, history. You can look on the left side of the screen, and and oh, I guess that makes sense. I didn't even think to look at that. Yeah. Okay, so not American history. I mean, maybe American history. Greenland sharks. Nope. I saw a picture of them the other day. Maybe think of it. Nope. We are doing the Brahmin bull, or Brahmin cattle in general. Hmm. Okay. All right. Where do you think they live? They look like Mexican cattle. Like Mexico? Yeah, like down there, uh, tossing some of South America. Some South America? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, they originated in the United States. Oh, okay. They're Shit. also found in Brazil. Oh, perfect. From Australia. Australia. Okay. I don't think of them for like anything as far as animals, because. Australia? Everything is, is trying to kill you. Yeah, well, yeah. Succeeding yeah. is a different thing. Yeah, trying, always. So. Yeah. <laughs> Description. Uh, it was bred in the United States, starting in 1885, uh, from cattle originating in India. You know, when you were asking about places, I was thinking, like, India, but... I I never know, like, I always forget the whole, like, the religious aspect of cows and if they would, like, like, why would they, like, raise cattle, you know? Like, I just... Because they're sacred. Well, no, they're sacred, but, like, I don't know, they'd, like, raise cattle. Well, not everyone who lives in India is a practitioner of Hinduism. Oh, yeah, but uh, majority. Majority, yeah. yes. Yeah. There are a lot of people in India. Uh, it was bred in the United States from 1885 from cattle originating in India, imported at various times to the United Kingdom. Because, you know, the UK used to... Yep. They were imported from the United Kingdom, from India, and from Brazil. Uh, these included the Indian Gur. Gur? Gur. I'm going to pronounce this one wrong. Guzera? Sounds right to me. It sounds right to you? Yeah. Okay. The Indu Brazil and Angol. So these are no known as Zebu cattle. Zebu? Zebu. Okay. Um, Zebu is a very specific form of a cattle, like uh, this dangly bit and this hump. Um, okay. And the big ears are usually hmm. an indicator of a Zebu cattle. All right. Uh, it has a large build, the humpy shoulders, a sagging chest, and the large ears, which we just covered. Mm -hmm. uh, they can vary in color from light gray or from light gray or red to an almost black color, but a majority of the breed is a light to medium gray. Okay. So there's some options, but usually they're they're a grayish color. Oh. Diet. So thirsty. So thirsty. So, yeah, you can really see that. That big old dangling. neck waddle. Oh, yeah. Cute little ears. Oh, <laughs> look at them. They just look very soft. Yeah. Like, you just look at them and you're like, that looks uh, like a Sharpay of cattle. I just want to <laughs> snuggle that. They remind me of one of the naked cats. What's the thing that Katie has? The sphinxy thing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like those. Oh. It just, I, I do. Just, I, do I, just I, don't like, like I don't like petting skin. Just, uh, it's yeah, weird. Same. Okay. <laughs> so what do they think they eat? Um, it's cow. So grass and yep, bushes and... Yep, it's general just... Uh, general cow, cow diet. Stuff. <laughs> just general cow stuff. General cow stuff. <laughs> and water. And water. He loves that water. <laughs> Predators! Oh, look at their big old ears. Wobbly necks. Oh, I just love them. They're just adorable. They're <laughs> so cute. Okay, predators. What do you what do you think is a predator? I'm gonna always say people. So they're basically just in the U.S. Where are they still now? 
Primarily, they're U.S., Brazil, and Australia. Of okay. specifically the Brahmin. Okay. But there are other various Zebu types out there, as okay. I previously listed. Um, I can't. God, I I can't like think of any direct predators in 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 Australia other than like like uh, Komodo dragons and stuff. I mean, I'm sure. A Komodo dragon. <laughs> okay. Hold yeah, something like that. Like a like a like a large lizards. Um. I don't even, I, I honestly can't even think of any kind of like large, like mammalian style predators in Australia. I just, I only think of it when I think of Australia is like bugs and lizards, <laughs> but they're huge and all want to kill you. Um, yes, my Komodo. Love, I love it. <laughs> Can you give it some like, like poison drippies out of its mouth? You keep thinking okay. while I give um, some poison drippies. So, then in the Americas, I'd probably say like mountain lions, like cougars. Uh, so it's like big cats in general? Yeah, like, in, let's toss wolves in there. And, uh, let's do a chupacabra. Because they're in Mexico. So we got the big cats. That's too cute to get a big cat. Got the big dogs. <laughs> what else did you say? You said uh, big cats. Oh, uh, chupacabra because they're in Mexico. Chupacabra. I don't know what chupacabra looks like. <clears throat> so. Like a, think of like a really g gross, malnourished werewolf. Close enough. Okay. <laughs> that worked for you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that works for me. Very good. Okay, um, none. They're all farm raised. They're not wild. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, okay. So farmer Dale. So there. just just the farmers. Okay. Just the farmer. <laughs> well, I guess there goes all my hard work. <laughs> Someday. That's all right. <laughs> no, hey, you got one, a few of them. Hey, one one for four. That's not bad. <laughs> one for five. Yeah. Okay. No. Look, look how freaking adorable those are. It's just so skinny. And I don't mean skinny as in thin. thin. <laughs> just so much. Oh, it's like, it reminds me of the, the, that guy from Pan's Labyrinth. Oh. Yeah. It's all the drapey skin. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Probably have no other no other predators. It's just all that defense. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's not predator. It's not. It's not that predators don't want them. They just can't. <laughs> so breeding as Brahmin cattle live longer than many other cattle breeds. They often produce calves up to what age? So longer than regular cattle. I don't even know where a regular cow lives. Like third. 25 years? 30? I've never seen like a geriatric cow before. Mm. Maybe I haven't, isn't it? Well, no. You don't hang out at farms as far as I know. Uh, I'm gonna say they produce calves till they're 25. 25? Yeah. 15! Oh, okay. And older. They can continue after that. Uh, what do you think their average lifespan is? Oh, wait. So that's when they start having cattle? No, babies? they they can continue having babies well into their later years. Now I'm asking you, how long do you think they live? Oh, 30, 30 years? 30? Yeah. 15 to 20. No, oh, that's too bad. Brahmin are bred as beef cattle. Oh, so beefy. So beefy. Uh, the Brahmin was used to develop other cattle breeds, like, get ready. <laughs> the Brangus. The Brangus? <laughs> the Brangus. <laughs> Is that where Angus comes from? I mean, it literally has the majority of the letters in its name. Maybe. I don't think so, though. The Beef Master. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simbra, 7-H, I don't remember. It does. 
the Simbra, and I, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's the Santa. Okay. Uh, Gratutus? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> One, two, three, four. It's uh, responsible for creating four more breeds okay. on their own. Well, good job, guys. Good job. Status. Oh, God. Yeah, they big boys. <laughs> uh, well, since they don't, <laughs> since they don't have <laughs> Jesus, since they don't have uh, like actual predators, I'm gonna go ahead and say they're probably on the like, least concern because they're mainly just raised. Correct. Least okay. concern. They have. They are no risk. Well, good for them. Good for them. God, they're just so... They're massive. <laughs> so big. I just want to, like... I I want to get all up in one. this and hug it. <laughs> so weird. I think it would feel real crazy. Just, like, soft and warm and just squishy. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Lore! <laughs> that looks like some kind of, like... Nordic, ah, uh, from Skyrim. Some some kind of like Nordic god that would come out, you know. You know, he's like friends with the Hercene, but he's like the lazy brother to Hercene. <laughs> I guess. Maybe. <laughs> That's just not my thought seeing that thing immediately. <laughs> the Indian origin, or the Indian origin Brahmin cattle breed is named after the Hindu priests who are named after the Hindu deity, Brahma. Uh, many Hindu Brahmins consider cows holy and bulls sacred, consuming neither of them. That being said, many Hindu people are just straight up vegetarian. Mm -hmm. There are some Hindus that aren't vegetarian, but they still do not eat the cattle. cattle. Yeah. Yes. So Brahma, big, big guy there, mm -hmm. is the creator god in Hinduism and the creator of the four Vedas. The Vedas have been orally shared since the second millennium BCE. Jeez. That's so long ago. <laughs> That's a very long time. Um, I was going to put more information about the four Vedas, but uh, there is just so much information. <laughs> uh, I encourage anyone who's interested in knowing more, uh, go out and do some research. It's very interesting. Fun facts! Oh, look at him a hug. <laughs> He's so cute. Brahmins have the highest tolerance for... Give me some guesses. Highest tolerance. These are uh, environmental environmental tolerances. Heat. Cold. I just I guess I just said temperature. Um, drought. I don't um, smell drought. Apparently. Drought. Famine. Not good enough. And what? Like famine. Like famine. Like, like, I thought uh, you said phantom. I was like I don't know what that uh, is. There's no ghosties. Does famine have an e? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay, they have a high tolerance for heat, sunlight, humidity, and a good resistance to parasites. Hmm. Possibly would make a good paladin in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to tear apart my dragonborn for a Brahmin. Brahminborn. Well, I mean, you would have heat resistance. Uh, if you decided to go evil, you wouldn't get radiant damage. Uh, you could wander around swamps a lot, True. and you won't get uh, you won't get the plague. <laughs> I guess it's not all that bad. Yeah, right. I feel like and don't that, forget they get plus two. <laughs> I feel like all that all that extra skin would get in the way of uh, fighting, though. Uh, maybe don't wear plate armor, it might get pinched. <laughs> uh, they're also used as riding steer. <laughs> so youthful riding. Because of their size, docile nature, and intelligence. So, they get plus two to intelligence. No! How about all those stats? Yeah, they're just getting pumped. Right on. <laughs> so now that you learned about the brawn cattle, mm -hmm. what do you think? It's a very interesting cow. <laughs> Did you know they existed before this? Uh, I mean, I've seen them. I just I had no idea what they were. Oh, okay. I, I've seen I've seen the cows with the you know the big old chin deal going on, the big old hump on their back. But I never knew what they were. So it's cool to learn more about them. 
It is. Hmm? I don't. I don't want to hug it as bad as you do. <laughs> I just want to hug everything. <laughs> I know you. Just everything. I know you too. Everything is delightful and <laughs> just needs some hugs. If, there, <laughs> if there's anything that you would like to learn about in a, a brief, short manner, uh, leave it in the description below. Uh, we do animals, foods, places, and people. So we got four options there. I don't really have one for things, like how it's made kind of stuff, maybe in the future, but not right now. Thank you for joining us on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!